Right, I've got that. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> right, we're back. <laughs> we're laughing because I said something funny off camera. <laughs> we can't repeat it. So, where to start? It's been one of them days. Yep. But, oh, still where do we start? Yeah. Well, let's start from the back, I think. Uh, Nick's, Mitch just put battery on, just doing a fuel filter, then it can go on a ramp. Uh, we can finish off the oil seals, and that is done, ready to go on Saturday. So that's fine. We have, Carl's been busy prepping. Uh, so five cylinder, one McLaren, two McLarens, uh, V8. I mean, that's all the stuff like we take out of engines. So that's the sort of stuff we replace on all different ones. So that's just literally rubbish. Um, the DQ DL800, they're deciding what they want to do because that is a paperweight. What else have we got? Uh, the V10 is done, just waiting to be collected. Ta-da! The straps on the top, and that is all sorted, ready to go. So that's done. Uh, the dyno's empty, so there's nothing in there. Um, windscreen finally turns up for Steve's tomorrow, and then that can go in, and that can go. Uh, Andrews has turned up and the roof doesn't work, so we need to sort that out. The Ferrari loom's just about done. Um, this is the engine out of the twin charge R8, and someone else built it and it leaks. Lovely. So Carl has to fix it. So we're just pulling the bottom girdle off now. But you can see, leaks, I don't know how it leaks so much with all this sealant they used. So, be interesting. So we're literally gonna pull the bottom girdle off. It leaks along the front edge. So we'll put a new seal on it, reseal it, clean it off, reseal it, and then build it back up. So yep. that's his job. Oh. You look very happy with that car. I'm over the moon. <laughs> Let's call it more work. Um, we're waiting for, so on the black twin turbo, James is redoing the charge coolers for the Wiggins clamps. Yep. So waiting on those. Noble crap. Uh, Ollie's is, Got no seats in but they, this turned up and it was freaking out at all sorts of errors and it's full of water right so i don't know whether you can see that there dav Here we go. i think that answers why the car was upset <laughs> so it's had a water leak slight bit of water ingress had a water leak it was full it's full of water so we pulled the carpets out dried that well, you can see them there. That's the towel we used to mop up what was inside the carpet. Ew. And then literally. Oh my goodness. Yeah. No, I'm wet. It wasn't happy. No, so that's rotten back control you now. Oh, what else we got? Ryan from Darkside's been here today. George popped up in his RS6. We could put his carbon ceramics on and the guy who sold him, sold him the wrong brackets, so the calipers don't fit on. So we've got to sort that out. So he's gone away and we've got to figure out why. Are you going to glare out? I'm just going to adjust. Here we go. Oh, it's cold out here, mate. Yeah. Um, Adams is in for a clutch, oil pipes and coolers. So we get that done. Uh, Sean's is pretty much done, ready to go. Uh, the fire car goes tomorrow. That's been written off. Knew it would. No one listens to me. So that's going tomorrow. Waiting on a clutch for Zades. Uh, Kevin Hacks is done, ready to go. Waiting on a water meth kit for the RS6. We are... Uh, what else we got? Waiting on the last few bits for the twin turbo and we're waiting on a Motec. I'm waiting on a hydraulic pump for ATU. And there's still four cars out on the road, which is... Oh, yeah. What is out there? There's a 
Porsche Riviera Blue Gen 2. Yeah, which is in for front shocks, exhaust, and carbon bodywork. Yeah. There is uh, Joe's, which is in for rear brakes and a coolant tank. There is uh, Gallardo Superleggera that's done. That's going back to podium for their tour. That's sorted. And there is something else. I can't remember what it is. It it's been a long day. It has been one of them days today. And... Look! What the hell? And then my compressor goes off. So, what else has been going on? Uh, yeah, Darkside were down today to measure their car uh, power-wise for their race series. So Ryan was here, put diesel all over my dyno, which is why I don't do diesels. What else? Raced at the weekend. So that was all right. Still noisy. still noisy. Is it still noisy? Um, yeah. yeah. You raced at Coombe. I raced at Coombe. Yeah. So what I get? Three seconds. Um, at eleventh, which was rubbish. A crash, <laughs> and then for the last race, because I crashed, I had to start from the back. So thirty second to eighth. So Fair yeah, play. in the big in the big races, just trying to get hold of how to. The problem is with big bikes. Oh, I'm on a little bike, so I'm at 600, and you have to rail a corner speed, which I'm trying to get my head back into doing anyway, because I've been on a big bike for so long. So I'm trying to sort of get back into the groove. It's just like only my third dry day on the bloody thing. Yeah. But then when you're stuck behind boys with a lot of power, they stop in corners, and then if you get stuck behind them, that's it. It kind of like picks you up. So like in the other race, I was stuck with this complete billy who was just had horsepower but couldn't ride. I got stuck behind him, I wound myself up and wound myself up and wound myself up. And then I absolutely sent it over quarry and run out of track. So it is what it is. But that's what happens when you qualify badly on a Saturday morning and then you're stuck behind them all for the races. Like, so I've yeah. got to sort that out really. But yeah, um, Bob was up, was doing really well. So Bob FWR, he's had a bad crash. So if you know who he is, Go and send him some love. So he's been in hospital with a broken back. So he come out of the S's, give it an full, and it's just sent him to the moon. So he landed bad. It's a huge, it was huge, a huge crash. Um, so he ended up in Bristol Hospital. I had his van here. That's gone back today with all his stuff in. So yeah, send him some love. Um, who else? Like every, every, it's, it, it's just the lefts at Coombe are brutal. They're brutal. You gotta be. You gotta pay them some respect because there's a big t bump in the mid right on the apex of the left, and you go driving in there, and the bike sits. And if you tap the gas then, and then it comes out of the bump and unloads, it just brrrr, off you go. So you've got to be patient. Um, and then when it does unload and sits back, that's when you can give it everything you got. But that's why it catches so many people out. So. Yeah, it was an interesting weekend. And yeah. on Friday, it absolutely hooned it down, mate, and I was fastest in test. So I was like, <laughs> well in, up for the rain. In the wet again. In the wet again, mate. And then it was literally like, we finished racing Sunday, and it pissed it down. Uh. And uh, one, of my, one of my mates, George, he had a blinding weekend. So in the big race, he got third against some fast, fast boys. Um, so yeah, on a little 600. Um, and I was winding him up all weekend because he was quite not nervous because he is good in the wet but he, he knew he'd have a fight on in both in all his races if it was wet um and yeah literally he come in got his podium sat down there finished drinking his bloody prosecco didn't he <laughs> and then it absolutely monsooned mate yeah so yeah it was all right it's 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 good we can just need to knuckle down and remember what corner speed is so a lot more racing to come for this season then donington in three weeks yeah. so we got our track day on the 11th yeah. and i go testing on a friday and then racing Saturday, Sunday. So yeah, it's uh, I do love the thing. All it's done is show up me a little bit more. And I don't, as in, I know it's me rather than the bike. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's just corner speed. So I just need to dump the brakes and get it in. Whereas on a big bike, you carry a lot of brake, get it stood on its nose, carry a lot of brake, get off the brake, get it turned, stand it up and sort of fire it out. And I always thought I was bad at that. And then I've come to a 600 and I realized I was actually pretty good at it. And now you've got to ride a 600, whereas you break a little bit and then rail the corners. That's what I'm start starting. I've got to get my head back into it. So yeah, come back into work and it's just um, bloody mad.
Yes. So, well, what do we... Like um, today now, you've come up to film, haven't you? And it's like five past six at night and we're filming. It's been stop, stop. But to be fair, you know, the, I mean, I counted 20 R8s here today. Yeah, 20 R8s. How many, what have we got? Three R6s, uh, a Ferrari. We had a Porsche GTS here this morning. Uh, three Lambos. Mate, it's crazy. It is mad. It is mad. So we've got someone starting now, hopefully the start of June. Well, start of June, hopefully earlier. Depends on how his current company let him go. So we have found someone, which is cool. So that means then you and I can just go off and play YouTube. Mate, that'd be cool. Let's do that. <laughs> so, yeah, we just need to start cracking on. Because it's like things like today. You go, right, okay. So, it, you know, not George's fault at all. But he's driven up from London. He's collected all his parts. It's not his fault. He's got everything he thinks he has. We put it on a ramp, gone to put it all together, realised we've got a wrong mounting bracket. So by the time we got to that point, you, you know, you're two hours done. Yeah. And it's, I can't charge him. Yeah. Not, in a, not in a million years would I dream of doing that. But it's still then two hours where we haven't done anything else. Yeah. You, you know? So at the minute, Carl's sort of trying to catch up on the engines and the project work stuff, which is working towards getting stuff done or getting cars done. But we've also got cars, to, you know, we kind of got two sides of the workshop. So just trying to get that sorted. And then like Ryan's down today, we've got on a dyno sorting that stuff out. But it's like I go home at night and I come into work with a list of 10 things to do. I haven't done any of them and I've added five more things. Yeah. So that's, that's the hard bit. My phone, you know, so if anybody's a client or trying to get hold of us or anything, just either email me or leave a message. Cause I, it, yeah, it's mad. WhatsApp, Facebook private messenger or it just goes berserk so trying to keep on top of it all is bloody hard work lad as, as Ryan so. would say hi Reet what's next um, track days in a couple of weeks that'd be cool yeah what else we got going on we've got Nothing. a few videos planned yeah that we can't really talk about no. right now only but. fans <laughs> more money in only fans <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a looker I'd sell <laughs> in your bike leathers yeah hey. I know I'm sure I, haven't, for it. I haven't spent any more money on tools, so don't worry about that. Because okay. I spent this weekend, I spent all my money on tires. Right. So it's always something beginning with T. All the T's. Yeah. Tools, tires, or tits. <laughs> <laughs> Kate's going to kick me for that one. Okay, uh, cool. Well, that, that yeah. kind of wraps it up. It's just a quick catch up. I think so. Catch up a weekly week. catch up. Indeed. Yeah. So um, now we need something clickbaity to trick everybody into watching. <laughs> so smash the buttons. Because apparently only 67... No. 33% of you subscribe. I don't know. There's a stat that says a that... stat somewhere. Yeah. A lot of people watch. <laughs> so, we yeah, are pretty chuffed. Like, at the weekend, again, I had so many people coming up at Coombe saying, oh, mate, really, really like your stuff or we watch your channel. Or some guy even walked up to Jordan and went, oh, mate, I love your videos. Oh. You know, because they'd obviously seen him. So, yeah. you, you know, I... I would say over the last six to eight weeks, it feels like it's uh, not taking a turn, but kind of building some momentum. Yeah, 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 it sort of jumped up. So, you know, we get a lot of really nice comments, which is which is not which is lovely. I suppose really, me and you enjoy doing this because people enjoy it. Like yeah. if no one watched, we'd be like, well, let's do something else then. Yeah, yeah. So it is nice to see. You know, like the Tavish video. What's that done now? 30,000 30, views? Something yeah, like that, yeah, isn't it? 36. You know, and that's just like that. me chatting crap to a bloke chatting crap. <laughs> you know, so it's, it is nice. The technical stuff, I think you're going to spend a bit more time up here now, aren't you? Yeah. Over next, from sort of now on. Yeah. So we try to catch a little bit more of the daily stuff or the in-depth stuff because that's where we've always sort of struggled. Man, I'm getting lightheaded. It must be all the diesel fumes. Mate. My hoodie stinks. <laughs> He's in there like that. He's like, oh, this is this is the fuel of the future. I'm like, oh, mate, you are talking nonsense. <laughs> but right. so on, on that note, smash your buttons, sell your diesel cars, buy yeah. something proper. Oh, now is a diesel or an electric? Hey, what would you have? What would I have? Yeah, if I had to at the moment. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I currently drive a diesel. I uh, know. <laughs> so. <laughs> does an SF90 count as an electric yeah, car? Yeah, that's fine. Tell me that in the comments below. Yeah. Does an SF90, it's got battery and a motor, does yeah. that count as an electric car? If it counts as an electric car, I'm in. Job done. Yeah. What? <laughs> Any cool diesels? Oh, I'm going to get beasted for this. Oh, you... 
And if there's any cool diesels, put that in the list below, but I think we'll... We don't want the, the current um, S4s and S5s diesel uh, now from Audi. Well, yeah, but aren't they like called the S4 40s and 30s? Nobody wants to put engine size anymore. No. Where's the good old days where your engine size dictated how big your balls were? <laughs> Says the man with 20 V10s. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> nobody was interested like nobody ever bragged about having a 1.1 Corsa did they not really but when they had a 5.2 V10 they yeah. were like I've got a 5.2 V10 yeah. whereas now you go to Audi and Audi do this oh yeah I've got a Q740 yeah so thought. that could be like a 3 litre V6 diesel or 2.5 or 2 litre petrol it's down on power rating yeah well you can't brag down a pub about that <laughs> can you <laughs> world's gone mad I think people tend to brag now the range they get on their electric cars. Or, how, or their CO2, how yeah. cheap their road tax is. Yeah. yeah. And we will never understand that. No, I don't get that. I brag about how many laps I can destroy a tyre in. <laughs> <laughs> At the weekend, it was four. There you go. 600 does it in four. So thanks very much. Enjoy. And we'll see you on the next video, which I think me and Dav are going to film in about 20 minutes. Lovely. So see you in a bit. See you later.